Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is who will you be in a relationship with next? So we have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four, and I will describe who your person is and their zodiac sign. So today I haven't got crystals, but I have numbers, so I thought I'd change it up a little bit. So as I say, take a deep breath. If you have trouble figuring out which group you would like, take a deep breath with me. And choose group number one, two, three, or four as to who you'll be in a relationship with next. So let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see who you'll be in a relationship with next. So we have calcite, busy times and multitasking. Labradorite, which is psychic ability, third eye chakra. Children. We then have ancestors. Believe in the impossible, hold your vision, a time for healing, your dreams need a practical plan, take a leap of faith, there is always enough, rhino spirit overcome any obstacle, and from the tarot we have the eight of cups, the empress, and the seven of swords. So this, first of all, this is somebody who's been through quite a lot of hurt. There's somebody who has, I feel like they may have been sneaking around before in this, in a sense that like, this isn't a bad thing. This is kind of like they're figuring out who they want to be with, who they, who they kind of match up with. And this is somebody who is very, very empowered. They're very kind of got this really nice Leo energy. And at the moment they are kind of deciding how to deal with people who they don't suit so essentially they could have got into a relationship before where they may have been with somebody who they didn't really kind of connect with and they may have made to have caused them not to sneak around and be with somebody else but to almost kind of figure out is this the right person with me but they just kind of is this the right person for me but they kind of just stayed with them anyway which wasn't the right thing to do okay so basically they're now deciding that it's a good chance for them to walk away from something that doesn't serve them and I feel like they're on a really good track now. I feel like before they were kind of a bit like they didn't really know how to deal with relationships that weren't right for them but now they're on a, on a really good track. Let's move these tower out of the way and let's put these over here so we can get started with the oracle cards. So we have calcite busy times and multitasking take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy so this is somebody who is quite busy there's somebody who likes to keep busy there's somebody who likes to keep really positive as well i feel like there's somebody who's really positive and therefore this may have caused them to be in a state of kind of confusion because they may have been like oh i've got to be really positive about this person that i'm with but actually i don't really like them as much as i thought i would like them so i'm just going to stay and kind of stick around but actually i'm not really happy with this person so that is i feel like it could have a very strong libra energy because they are the sort of person who almost has this tendency to people please um obviously i'm not judging libras i love libras um and my venus is in libra so i know that that is definitely a tendency that libras definitely have so i feel like they are extremely kind but they can be taken for a ride but for now actually now they're actually um actually actually now they are actually really kind of looking into what do i actually want and i'm not going to settle for anything less than that there's somebody who is quite psychic if they're not really on obviously psychic or they're not obviously a spiritual person i sense that there's somebody who is really really good at initiating things and getting things done um in a way that they know that it's the right decision so i do feel like they know themselves very very well but i feel like because of the things that they've gone through i feel like they've gone through quite a lot of different relationships where they've basically been taken for a ride or been treated like a doormat almost i feel like because they're quite a sensitive person they can get treated quite badly but actually now they're stepping up to the plate and they're like okay i need to do something different now i need to take a leap of faith i need to go towards somebody who's really going to treat me right this person I feel like is very, very feminine. I feel like if they are a man, they are going to be quite feminine. I don't see them being um, um, somebody, I don't see them being a, a gay man, but when I say a feminine man, I don't see them being like a man who's interested in other men. But um, I do see them being somebody who's quite feminine. Um, but obviously that's not a bad thing. They may be gay. If, that's, if you're a man watching this and you want um, another partner who's gay, then 
that's completely fine i'm not judging but i do say to this person if you are a woman looking for a man then i feel like this is somebody who is is definitely straight they may be probably bisexual but i do sense they may be more on the straighter side but they are more feminine that's what i'm basically saying obviously no judgment here um so i hope you didn't offend anybody saying that um so basically i do feel like this person is kind of getting over their ancestral patterns it's that basically where they're essentially trying to walk away from things that don't serve them and this is definitely an ancestral pattern that they're kind of looking into where they're basically like i don't want to act like this anymore i don't want to be stepped on anymore and i don't want to be taken for a ride that is basically what i am seeing so is there anything else i need to say around these cards here so basically this person i feel like either possibly you or them i swear that card just moved maybe not i don't know but <laughs> I, swear, I swear i saw it in the corner of my eye um i feel like this person really knows themselves but they do sense that they may not ever get into a relationship i feel like this is you or them they could feel a bit hopeless um but the spirit is telling you to believe in the impossible and to hold on to your vision essentially you or this person could be going through a healing time right now hence why you may not be actually connecting with this person but i will find a i will get a timing um card for you as well and we'll have a look into that in terms of when this person is actually going to come towards you so this person could be a pisces they could also be a taurus or an air sign um and there's somebody who kind of feels like it's never enough so they may be like over security like they like over secure over secure like or insecure so they possibly could be a little bit insecure but they're very very loving like they love children they're somebody who you could have children with um and there's somebody who is basically i do sense that this person is very emotional but they are quite practical as well so it's kind of like they're trying to balance their practicality with their um spirituality and their emotions so i do sense this person is very very good at overcoming obstacles but they have gone through quite a hard time through their life i feel like their life hasn't been the most easiest but i do sense this person because of it they're very very caring they're very very loving and they're very very sweet okay so let's have a look and see what zodiac sign this person could be obviously it doesn't have to resonate but if it does then it's just extra clarification okay so let's have a look i'm definitely sensing a pisces person okay so we've got capricorn i'm just feeling a very light energy taurus scorpio let's get a couple more Cancerian. Oh yeah, they could be a Cancerian as well, actually. We've got two water signs. None of them Pisces. Okay, and we've got Aquarius. And underneath we have Libra. So it could be a Pisces. I'm sensing that because we have the koi fish spirit here. But um, yeah, so we have two water signs. We have Scorpio and Cancerian. We have two Earth, which is Capricorn and Taurus, and one air sign, which is Aquarius. So hopefully this resonates for you guys. Um, oh, also, let's do a timing card for you. Let's have a look at the timing wise. So I have my handy dandy little um, envelope here with my timings. Give me a number five and let's have a look at five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we have three months, two weeks, and autumn so you guys can meet this person like pretty soon i feel like you guys can meet this person pretty soon um in terms of advice i feel like i want to give you guys some advice so let's give you advice on what you need to do to meet this person or possibly what you're going through let's just see any advice for group number one thank you so we've got communication is key adjustments are required and don't let your past hold you back so you could be somebody who wants to just kind of communicate things or you possibly may not be very good at communication there's obviously there's a general reading so it varies but i do sense that this person you you need to learn how to communicate clearly and standing in your power and this is basically to yeah standing in your power they're showing me and this adjustments are required is very similar to the aquarius so i feel like the you need to embody the aquarius energy here where it says independent easygoing and analytical so i sense that you need to possibly be a little bit more easygoing and to not let the past hold you back um in terms of if you meet this person and you think oh they, they kind of act like my ex or they remind me of my ex or what if this person treats me like my ex if you're getting any obviously negative vibes and your intuition is telling you not to go for it then possibly listen to it but if it's basically out of fear and it's basically saying that oh you shouldn't get into a relationship because it's not the right thing for you 
then obviously don't listen to that don't let the past hold you back and even though you've gone through a lot of things doesn't mean that you're always going to be in that position okay and we also have balanced spirituality and practicality um full moon in pisces so definitely i definitely feel like you guys as i said before balance of spirituality and practicality similar to this person here is what you need to really focus on grounding yourself and knowing that you are an amazing person and if especially especially if you're highly sensitive um, a highly sensitive person you just need to look after yourself and be kind to yourself and don't rush the process this person will come in when they're ready and we also got three months two weeks and autumn so hopefully that resonates for you guys so thank you so much for uh clicking on this video i really really, really bleh, <laughs> can't speak i really really appreciate it thank you so much if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below i have all my readings listed in the description box i'm doing 10 percent off in august obviously if you are clicking on this video after august i will probably have some sort of discount going on um and i always have my discount the option one and option two together you'll get 20 percent off if you'd like to subscribe to my channel feel free to click that red button down below feel free to like and comment down below if it resonated if it didn't resonate then just let it fly i'll speak to you very soon love you guys bye hello group number two thank you so much for clicking on this video so let's see who your future partner is and what their traits are etc etc who is the next person you're going to be in a relationship with so we have yellow jasper control issues utilize your god-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you I find this card a bit weird, like the way um, Doreen Virtue kind of explains the card is very, very strange, but here we go, carrying on. Um, we have Kunzite, Children, Third Eye and Heart Chakra, Blue Lace Agate, Communication, Throat Chakra, Crystals. We also have Channel, Show the World the Real You, A New Start is Coming, A Fiery Climax Approaches, Snake Spirit, Time to Heal. And then from the Tarot, we have All Gorgeous, The Knight of Cups nine of wands ten of wands two of pentacles and the queen of swords so okay let's just have a look into this and we'll see what's kind of going on okay so for you guys i feel like this person is going to be really really good at communicating i'm sensing two years so i feel like it could be two years older than you or you're going to meet this person in two years obviously that's a long time but these things obviously do take time you're going to have a new start definitely with this person it's going to be absolutely amazing they're going to be somebody who's going to help you to possibly realize that you have healing energy um there's somebody who could also have healing energy they could love crystals they could love going to like crystal shops with you they're definitely somebody who's very is going to be very emotionally invested in you they may be a little bit skeptical at first they may kind of be like i don't know if i want to invest in this person or this could be you that you don't want to it may, not want to invest but you're going to realize actually no like i'm going to end this cycle and I'm going to start a new cycle it's a similar energy here where you're just the person is just kind of confused as to whether they should go forward so that, so this person may take a little bit of time to come forward towards you but yeah they may just be a little bit confused on kind of if this is the right decision for them okay so we also have the queen of swords this is somebody who's going to be really really kind of action orientated they're going to be somebody who is going to possibly make the decisions in the relationship they're going to be somebody who's going to be like we're going here i want to have this date night here which i think you'll probably really like because it will help you to kind of think that you won't have to think about everything too much you won't have to make little decisions they'll make decisions for you which is really nice obviously not in like a oppressive controlling way it'll be like hey let's go here we haven't tried this um restaurant out etc etc there's somebody definitely who channels so they could even be like a tarot reader they could be um a medium um they could just be somebody who's very very sensitive and kind of is aware of energies and things like that they could even be somebody who um goes around in houses and kind of clears out old energies and kind of spirits and things like that so we have yellow jasper control issues there could be somebody who could be a little bit controlling as i said there could be somebody who if they kind of get in their head a bit too much they may be a little bit too controlling but i feel like their heart is in it for some reason i'm really seeing this as like a heart so I do sense that they may be a little bit controlling, but I definitely feel like this is just because they're going to want to protect you. They may be a little bit jealous of you um, in a sense that like not jealous of you, but they they won't want you to have anybody else, which is obviously really, really good. It isn't in like, a, as I say, it's not in an impressive controlling way. It's kind of like in a loving way, but they kind of they're going to know what they want, basically. 
so at the moment or when they're with you they're going to be healing themselves from a past relationship i feel like or just generally um some sort of control issues they may have they're going to be shedding this old skin and they're going to want to be they're going to show themselves to you how they really are authentically they can be very very authentic and they're not going to kind of hide themselves i feel like number 55 is going to be really really prominent for you and for some reason i'm seeing someone mowing that like i'm seeing in my third eye someone mowing their lawn so i'm not sure if they like like to keep their garden tidy or they are a gardener um because i'm seeing somebody in like a green top like a green polo shirt with brown trousers so i feel like it could be like a gardener or something like that so definitely you're going to have a new start with this person. It's going to be really fiery. There could be somebody who's an Aries or a Taurus. Someone who's, as I say, very, just kind of knows what they want. And they're going to be really, really happy with you. Um, they're going to be somebody who's going to really be really good at communicating. And they're somebody who would want children with you. I feel like they're going to help you to be more communicative. If that's a word. They're going to help you to communicate, I feel like, and make you feel much more comfortable than possibly how you would have felt um, in a different in a different relationship. I feel like they're going to be completely different to kind of what you're used to. They're going to be someone who is going to treat you really, really well um, and they're just going to be really, really a really lovely person. So I'm going to have a look and see if there's any extra advice here. Anything else we need to know about this person, then we'll have a look into their star sign. So somebody who really likes being out in nature, we've got the magic of nature here. Um, and then we'll have a look, see what else comes through. Okay, we've got detoxification and be honest with yourself. Yeah, that's exactly what those two cards are. And then we have breaking free. This is definitely somebody who is breaking free from an old pattern because they're gonna a new start is coming for them, hence why they're breaking free, because they're releasing old patterns, old wounds, and this is gonna bring you two together after they've done this, okay? I feel like nature is very, very nice. This person, I definitely feel like they could be, as I say, a gardener, they could be like a national park looker after a person i can't remember what they're called um literally just got out of my head yeah somebody who looks after national parks and um, they could be a bird person who likes bird watching or they could generally just love animals um this is literally here where we've got the snake the snake spirit time to heal and detoxification and then here we have show the world the real you and be honest with yourself that's literally these two cards are pretty much the same where they're detoxifying themselves they're releasing the old past um, the old, yeah, old, the old, and bringing in the new, and they're being honest with themselves, and they're showing themselves the real you, the real them to you. Okay, so let's get um, a star sign. Let's see what star signs are coming through, and see what stars a possible uh, star sign this person could be. So let's have a look. So we have Gemini, Scorpio. This could also be your star sign as well. We have got Taurus. We have Virgo. This could also be like their moon sign or their Venus sign or their Mars. And we've also got Sagittarius. And underneath we have Cancerian. So if this person is none of these star signs, it's completely fine. Just take it with a grain of salt. Um, and let's see when you'll possibly meet this person. So give me a number. Five. One, two three four five so we have autumn we have five years this person could just generally be five years older than you or five years younger depending on your age obviously so i feel like you can meet this person in summer or autumn um obviously could be this year in 2019 or it could be next year i'm sensing a lot of you could actually meet this person this year but maybe not actually be in a relationship with them you could just be friends with them okay and then we also have five years <coughs> so that's basically when you could meet this person essentially also i'm not saying it could be five years maybe depending on obviously where you are at the moment in your kind of status and let's see what advice you need before meeting this person or what you need just in general. So we have communication is key. I think that's what group one had. We have uh, take time to breathe out and it's time to release negativity. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So we have Virgo here as well. So you could be a Virgo as well. Or you could be a Scorpio or a Gemini. So we've literally got Scorpio and Gemini here as well. So you two, this person and you are basically mirroring each other. Um, basically communication is key and is very very important in this relationship 
and just to make sure you communicate um, wholeheartedly and um, authentically and honestly um, and take time to breathe out look after yourself because I feel like you could be going through a cycle where you're releasing a lot of negativity. Okay, so thank you so much for watching guys. If this reading resonated with you, then don't forget to comment down below. I would love to hear from you. If you'd like to, please subscribe to my channel. The red button is down below. Also, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, all my information is in the description box down below. I'm doing 10% off all the way through August. I will always do my 20% off if you buy a purchase option one and option two. Um, if not, then you just thank you for watching. And if you'd like to, please give this video a big thumbs up and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see who your next partner is, who you're going to be in a relationship with next. Okay. So let's have a look. We've got smoky quartz, clearing negativity, release negativity from within or around you. Amethyst, intuition, third eye. Dio Dioptas, direction, heart chakra. Obsidian, protection, root chakra. Builder, justice cleanse nothing is yet set in stone a win win outcome is forecast time to let go we're gonna have the two of cups strength page of cups and ten of cups wow this person is like amazing they're so ready for a relationship they've been through so much and they're pretty much ready for a relationship now so this is somebody who is very connected to the heart chakra. I feel like they're also very grounded. So they've got a really good mix of groundingness with their um, root chakra, but also the heart. We've got root, heart, and third eye. So they're somebody who's very, very all well, very well-rounded, basically. Um, so basically you've got clearing negativity. They've also got cleanse. So they're going to be somebody who's going to help you clear your negativity, or they're clearing their negativity now. Uh, there's somebody who is could be possibly a builder they, or they could like to build things they could be somebody who is very like loves engineering or loves kind of building like um customizing like weapons like knives like they kind of like that intricacy of like kind of making something for themselves it says your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment so they even could even create their own business they could be in law or they just like justice and fairness they could be somebody who is very kind of like steps up so if somebody is kind of <clears throat> if someone's being horrible to somebody else they'll be like hey that's not right and they'll kind of they love fairness especially here we've got justice and we've also got full moon in libra full full moon in libra a win-win outcome is forecast so basically this person loves a nice win-win situation and uh, they possibly could be a little bit competitive but i feel like it's going to be like playful competitive very kind of like sexy um they're going to love to kind of be playful with you uh, there's also somebody who could be also a Libra, but also this person is just, it's just going to be an amazing relationship. Very, very wholehearted, very balanced. Um, so essentially, this person may be somebody who you're not specifically used to. I feel like you haven't met this person yet. There's somebody who is not possibly in your periphery right now, in your life right now. There's somebody who could possibly... Um, could be in the position of changing themselves so they could be basically transforming and cleansing themselves and letting go of negativity so they could actually be, be completely different from like yes yeah, from like a few months ago than they than they are today essentially obviously we're all like that but I feel like it could be going through a really big transformation where they are changing themselves for the better and by the time you meet them they're going to be really open to this relationship um, there's somebody who is basically letting go of their past and they possibly could be letting go of control issues, of codependency, that sort of thing. There's somebody who's very, very kind of dependent on, um, yeah, I feel like they're very dependent. So you can depend on this person, but they're also, they can also depend on you, I feel like. They're, they're very trustworthy. Um, I'm going to see what we have in the relationship parts. We have, yeah, new love, exactly. <clears throat> That's exactly what I said, yeah. I do feel like this person's someone new, someone you haven't actually met yet. Um, and they basically you both are in separation right now because you are both cleansing and healing. Can we have one more card, please. Can we have one more card. And we got worth waiting for here. And underneath we have make the effort. So I feel like this person's gonna make the effort, or maybe possibly you need to make the effort towards this person. Depending, it's just I feel like they're they're actually gonna offer you something though, because we've got the page of cups. And as somebody you could actually be married, you could actually get married to this person and have children. <clears throat> so possible star signs of this person we have Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius, 
Cancerian, Aquarius, and we also have Capricorn. So obviously they might not they might not be this person, but just this is just extra clarification. So in terms of timing, let's see when you possibly meet this person if you haven't met them already. One, two, three, four, five. So we have winter. We also have four months. So you could meet this person, say, if you are actually watching this video as I've uploaded it, uh, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, so yes, winter, it would be December that you would meet this person, okay? So I do sense this person could be, like, you could meet this person this year or possibly next winter. And let's get some advice for you on this person, possibly before you meet them, or just kind of extra advice for yourself. What does group three need to know? Thank you. Work through your fears. Be bold and make the first move. Nothing will come in this situation. Have faith in your dreams. Okay. Underneath we have a fiery climax approach. This is going to be somebody you're very like sexually. Um, obviously because it's a relationship. Obviously you are going to be very sexual with this person. But I feel like you both will have a very very strong connection. As soon as you meet this person. Or possibly when as you get to know this person. You're going to be like damn this person is so attractive. Like physically and spiritually and mentally. That sort of thing. They're going to be very attractive. Um, with their personality as well as their what they physically look like i feel like you are working through your fears and don't look too much into the dark parts of yourself obviously you do to clear them out but don't focus on them for too long because i feel like nothing will come in this situation if you focus on the negativity and don't focus your um <clears throat> your future against your past because not everything is going to be the same okay i definitely feel like you're working through a lot of fears though and i feel like you're doing a really really good job so we have be bold and make the first move and have faith in your dreams. So you could possibly go towards this person. Don't be scared of making the first move. Um, also, just be bold, essentially, and just be a strong, empowered person that, that you know you can be. And have faith that this person is going to come along. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you'd like to purchase a private reading, all the information is down below in the description box. I have all my readings listed down below. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like to, then please like this video, comment down below if it resonated. If it didn't resonate, then just let it fly. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see who the next person you will be in a relationship with next. So... We have emerald ceremonies and celebration. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. We have unakite, live in the present, heart chakra, fuchsite, healing, heart chakra. Practice, polish your skills by practicing regularly. We also have the nine of pentacles, the tower, knight of wands, three of wands, two of wands and the sun we also have think on your feet be playful you and your loved ones are safe a new romantic cycle begins bring love into the situation conclusions are within reach your hard work is paying off and deep healing so there's so much information here basically this person is going to be really really good for you they are extremely lovable. They're very, very good at living in the present. And they're possibly going to be somebody you could actually get married to and go to birthdays and parties and that sort of thing with them. Let's move this over here. So I feel like you are at a conclusion right now where basically you possibly may think you'll never get into a relationship. But actually conclusions are within reach and this person is coming forward. If you already know this person, I feel like some of you could already know this person. But for a lot of you, I feel like you don't actually know this person yet. So carry on living in the present as this person is also. And I feel like this person is going to be very playful they're going to think on their feet um and they've just been going to be very good at kind of like they possibly could be like a salesman or somebody i feel like they're very good at kind of thinking on their feet and kind of thinking um in a really good way that's very like kind of um i can say manipulative that's not the right word that's very kind of like they're very good at selling themselves to you in like a really good way okay so your hard work is paying off and bring love into the situation. This person I feel like is learning to love themselves and knowing that their hard work is definitely paying off and so is your hard work also. This person could also be a Cancerian or a Libra but basically there's a new romantic cycle happening so I definitely for a feel for a lot of you for sure that this person is very new. There's somebody who is going to make you feel really really safe and I feel like you are working on your, your fear of safety as well before you meet this person. I feel like both of you are practicing your skills 
of actually how to love and how to bring love into this uh, this situation. Didn't we have it? Yeah. And how to bring love into the situation. Um, basically, you both are learning to love, especially for this person because they're working on their heart chakra. Their heart chakra is very, very kind of strong and they're working on their fear of being hurt, etc, etc. So also, as, as obviously, you and this person are single, but both of you are going to kind of come to this conclusion where something's going to suddenly happen after this deep healing and so this person's going to come towards you okay it could be somebody who is from a different like i say different planet <laughs> maybe if you believe in that sort of thing they may be from a different planet um <laughs> like both of you could all both of you could be from the same star system i don't know it depends what you believe in guys um but i feel like both of you are kind of looking towards each other i feel like on a spiritual level you know who this person is but you don't know on a 3d human level i don't think you know who this person is basically they're from a past life and you could be, possibly could be the universe is basically pulling you both together so you two can meet and basically come together and be like the six of wands basically all together um, and be really successful um i see a six of wands as a really good card by the way um but basically i feel like you're going to meet this person kind of abroad you could meet this person when you're traveling or they could be somebody from a different country and it's basically just going to be really, really amazing. And you guys are going to be absolutely gorgeous together. Okay. So let's see what star sign this person is. This is just for clarification. It doesn't have to be exactly. So we have Cancerian. Yep, definitely. As I said, we've got Cancerian here. We have Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn and Libra. I know I pulled quite a few, but I felt the need to pull a few. I think a lot of you guys are going to choose number four. So... That is what I was seeing. So in terms of timing, if you haven't met this person yet or just generally any timing that will help you out, I'm going to see in terms of timing in my little timings envelope. So give me a number two. One, two, five months and five days. Wow. So number five is going to be really, really good for you guys. We also have summer and autumn. So possibly some of you can meet in summer, some of you can meet in autumn. Obviously this is general reading, so take it with a grain of salt. And you could possibly meet in five months or five days. So if you meet in summer, you could possibly meet in five days. And if you meet in autumn, you could possibly meet in five months, okay? They could also be five months or five days older than you. And number five could just be a very prominent number. Um, so let's give the advice and see what you guys need to know in terms of before you meet this person or just general advice for you. So we have show the world the real you. It's time to release negativity and it's take time to breathe out. We also have communication is key. Group number one, two and four, you guys got this as well. I feel like possibly every single group got communication is key. That is absolutely mental. I love that so much. Um, basically, I feel like a lot of you are working on your communication and how to communicate authentically and how to be your most authentic self and how to love yourself for who you are. Because I feel like a lot of you are releasing ne negativity and um, you're taking time to breathe out to kind of relax through this negativity and this intense cycle. And you will get out of it, guys. Just love yourself as much as you possibly can. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate you guys. We are nearly at 5,000 subscribers. So please subscribe if you would like to. I really, really appreciate that. Please give this video a big old thumbs up. And if you'd like to purchase a private reading, all my information is down below. I'm doing 10% off for the whole of august if you are watching this after august i will still be doing my 20 percent off if you purchase option one and option two also i'm always doing discounts and stuff so please look down below if you are interested in a purchasing a private reading uh if it didn't resonate then just let it fly and um, please comment down below if it did and i'll see you very soon bye